Jeff, did you want to make an opening statement about this weekend's activities here at Texas? Uh, you know, we're just really uh, looking forward to this second trip to, to Texas because we ran so well here earlier in the year. Um, you know, but obviously uh, with, with, with the way things ended, we feel like we have some unfinished business to do here at Texas. So, um, can, you know, really anxious to see how our setup from uh, not only the last time we are here, but what we've learned since then to keep up the, the, the changing competition, improving competition, and, and I think that, uh, you know, we're looking forward to applying that this weekend to uh, to try to, to get that win. You know, we're, we're obviously, uh, we, we understand as well as anybody just, you know, uh, that we have not won and how important it is for us to win, and, and also the fact that, you know, we are fourth in points, and, uh, and, and we have to keep, keep pushing, you know, hard not only to get that win, but uh, to keep ourselves you know, as high up in the points as possible. All right, we'll just start right with questions. Let's start back here, please. Thank you. Hi, Jeff. Don Colbo with Morris back here somewhere. I see. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, having just finished going through that, that long process of trying to find a sponsor for next year, I'm just curious, with the, with the economy the way it is, did it ever make you change – the way you thought about sponsorships, were there sponsors that in the past you would have never accepted? For, I mean, are there, are there deals you would not take personally that maybe you might have taken now, or, or, or do you still have people you would not uh, take a sponsorship from? I mean, there, there, there's always you, you got to understand that, that while the economy has been tough, we still had a tremendous amount of interest, uh, which to me was, was very encouraging. Um, but to put the whole thing together, you know, all the, the nuts and bolts and, and all the pieces, and, and, and you have a lot of, all, you know, unique conflicts that, that happen with, with every sponsor we've ever had, you know, um, because you have existing agreements within the organization on other cars. Um, you know, you have sponsors uh, that, that are going to stay on board. Um, you know, you have all these different unique things that, 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 and dynamics that come into play that when it really comes down to signing that dotted line, uh, it's a very difficult process. Uh, and it always, uh, you know, we've been very fortunate over the years that, that DuPonts typically signed up before, uh, before they had to, you know, before that process even really came about, it was like, yes, you know, we're going to, we're going to resign. So I think to me, the real sign of, of the economy was that, you know, they, they felt like they had to, to, to cut back. And, and I've seen it with, um, their entertaining at the racetrack, uh, the number of people that they're entertaining through hospitality, which is a big, big part of their sponsorship. Um, but the fact that they wanted to stay on board was, was to me, you know, very exciting because, I, you know, I want to I end my career with DuPont on the car. They've, they've just been that kind of company for us. Um, have we been approached by licensing and merchandising and sponsorships and endorsements over the years that we've said no to? Absolutely. Uh, you'd be amazed at some of the things that, that, you know, come our way. You can't say yes to, to everything. So, you know, you have to be... Uh, uh, you have to pick and choose, uh, and and I felt like we did that process this time as well, um, but we probably didn't didn't have quite as few or quite as many to to, to choose from. All right, we'll go to Mark, and then I think uh, he wants to follow. You oh, want? okay. Did you have a follow up, Don? Sorry. <coughs> Without asking you to name a name, I mean, what areas of stuff do you use? Well, we we just don't go there. Um, you can use your imagination. Okay. Uh, I mean, you get approached by anything and everything. So, uh, you know, there, there, there's the, the great thing is there's a lot of people that, that love you know the the fan base that that we have. Um, I'll, I'll do some research and see if I can come up with one that uh, that I can share with the group. So Jeff Gordon beer is not coming on the market anytime soon. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Oh, we've got those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, uh, get Mark Arrow, David Newton, and we'll go back to Shannon. Mark? Uh, Mark Arrow, Perry. And Jeff, can you talk about what happened here at Texas earlier this year with Jimmy? And, and talking with him about it last week at Talladega, he said after it, he said just like any relationship, if you really sit down and be honest with the other person, it makes you stronger, uh, makes it a better relationship on the backside. Did you find that that was the case? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I felt like um, – 
you know, there's always been inner competition among uh, the teams at, at Hendrick, which I think is, is a very uh, positive thing. But you don't want it to get to the point where uh, it starts to, to, to cause conflict. And, and I think that, you know, a, a couple of misunderstandings and, and, you know, just the heightened uh, sense of competition within, you know, our organization and the fact that everybody out there wants to, to beat Jimmy Johnson. I mean, he's been, you know, the guy to beat. And, and you know, we had uh, a car capable of doing that at, at, uh, at Vegas. We had a car capable of doing it here. And, you know, I think that, uh, you know, after we made contact and, and some of the things were said, we just, you know, I think Rick Hendricks is a great mediator when it comes to things like that. And, and uh, you know, he got us together. He knows what good friends w that Jimmy and I are, but he also knows what fierce competitors we are. Um, and, and those two things don't always go together. And, and I think that, uh, you know, what was important uh, to, to Rick, and, it's imp and, and it just needed to be, uh, more become more aware to, to all of us, um, you know, on our teams, is how important it is to, to, to work together, to share that information, and, and to, um, you know, be able to, to uh, be open and honest about things, even if there's a conflict. And, and so, yeah, we, we talked about it, and, um, you know, I, I do feel like it strengthened our, our relationship because of that. David? Yeah, Jeff, David Newton, ESPN.com. Kind of following up with that, I mean, as much as you want to win, this championship's very close, and it could come down to the bonus points. It could be the difference between first and second. Do um, you see, you given an inch, if, if at that position where Jimmy really needs the points to win the championship and backing away, letting him have it? Well, I mean, I pushed him at the end of that race last weekend. You know, I, 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 I you know, could have, could have gone a different way to try to, to you know, gotten myself into a, maybe a little bit better position but I thought you know at the time that um, you know it was it was risky for me to uh, to make a move to the outside uh, so I, I thought better of it and I said I'll just I'll go in here and, and push him and see where we can go um, and you know had, had the white flag not come out I think we were gonna we we're gonna make even some more positions but um, so that you know that that's that's an instance and, and, you know, we're going to do everything we can to, to win the race here, you know, this weekend. Um, and, and to me, if it's leading one lap, that's one thing, you know. But if we've got a car that's capable of going out there and dominating the race and winning the race, then we're going to go out there and, and we're going to do that. Well, I've been out of the country this week. I'll be honest with you. Uh, my my wife's turning forty, so we celebrate her birthday. I've been out of touch with everything uh, until I got back last night. Uh, and so I haven't heard anything like that, but I laugh at it as you said it because trust me, you know, in a situation like that, as as much as I rode around the back all day. I was not about to, to lose that, that lead. I, I still don't even know what happened to the engine or, or what was going on there, and I'm, I'm anxious you know, to know uh, and talk to those guys. But, um, no, I'm, I'm just focused on Texas now, and I can just promise you that there was no, there, there was no, no foul play there. It was, I was doing everything I could to win that race.